I'm gonna show you all the use cases for graphic designers in Google's new Nano Banana model. Let's start off with creating a logo. So I typed in create a logo for a farming company, simple and modern brand name is called Harvest and it generated this image here. I like the icon, it's really, um, you know, clean and bold. A few shapes inside I probably don't like. Colors are cool, I like the text as well. I'm not sure about the circle. But I think it's a pretty good start um, that we can have. And the cool thing about this is, the only negative is you can't download vector files. It only will give you a JPEG. So you can't do SVG yet or PNG. I can just say, make it a JPEG and it'll give me a JPEG and I can click the little download button and I can download that. Um, and then you go, you've got this JPEG and I can bring it into Illustrator. I did ask it to make it transparent, but it just makes it a background and it's not truly a PNG transparency, that doesn't work either. For logos, it's really great. Let's do a, another quick prompt of a logo, paste it in, press Control, Enter to do a quick run. And if you're not, if you don't know how to use this, you just go to Google AI Studio, it's completely free, and go to the right-hand side, you can see you've got Nano Banana selected, make sure you select the new model. All right, a new logo for Studio Orbit, make it clean, bold, geometric. Awesome, okay, Studio Orbit, all caps, yeah, pretty standard, uh, the logo. I don't know if they were trying to go for an S there, but I don't know, I like the sort of concept of a planet, and maybe having the letter S in the middle, but the S is a bit messed up, so I think that's really good. Uh, if you do wanna like change things, you can just say, change the colors to more purple and teal, make the text lower case, add a tagline. Here's an updated logo. So it's able to do lowercase except for the R and the B is uppercase. I don't know why. Uh, so that is kind of bad. Innovate, create, connect. Yeah, just a typical tagline, nothing too crazy. I do like the layout though, how they got two line logo lockup. All right, let's do another one. Let's do a mood board this time. Drop in a prompt here, create a mood board for a luxury skincare brand. Include beige, gold, elegant topography inspiration. Now one key feature is the temperature slider on the right hand side. So I've bumped it all the way to one, but if you drop it down, it will reduce the creativity in the generation. If you want less creative and more just fun and more literal, then bring it down. If you want more creative, leave it on one. Let's click on the mood board here. I think that's pretty elegant. I really like that. It's nice. I like the, how it sort of added that stone with the shadows. I like the gold colors. I think great use of like the font choice as well. And words, tranquility, radiance. Uh, feels like it's a hotel or something here. Um, Nourish, restore, glow. Aurum Naturals, that's a nice logo there. Yeah, I think it was pre it's pretty good. Like, I think the textures... I'm loving the layers of textures, the little paint strokes, the little details, I think that's really cool. Updated, it literally took, how long was that? That was like five seconds or something, nine seconds. Cool, earthy tones, so it changed the colors. It added some more of these like green mask. Um, it's using some of the same images, it's just adding different elements like wood. Um, it kept the tagline. So you gotta be really specific when you're telling it like to replace things. Do a male brand instead and call the brand a new name, uh, more masculine, um, sleek, modern, uh, retro vibe. Let's click on this one. Ooh, nice. Got some beard shots, some Greek statues, uh, lions, master your legacy grooming excellence. Cool, I, I was pretty generic, I wasn't that specific. I like that bottle that gold in the black, looks mad, Apollo's glory. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think it's a good start. Like, you could always come in here, mask it, drop it into a stylescape later or do something else. Let's go for doing some mock-ups now. Cool, so this example I did before, I had like this uh, badge logo design. I don't know why it's really big, but you can see it here. And I just said, put this tattoo on a mock-up on a male's arm and it was able to generate this. It even added some like sweat or whatever that is on the person's arm. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty fresh. The, the shadows and lighting looks crazy good. Like it looks so realistic that someone just took it in their room. And then I did this one. So I had just downloaded a design, create a post design based on the design and put it on a wall in a vibrant room. Just a simple prompt and it generated this. It even added like a carpet and nice colors in the shading. And you got the poster on the wall. Like so This will be really cool. Um, if I say here like add text, I'll say maybe add the word music on the poster and small text. All right, so I added some text on the bottom that the text on the bottom looks a bit janky, but the word music looks really great. Um, and the lighting is perfect. I think this is sweet. Um, we can say, generate me 
unlock up a business card. Maybe just copy and paste this logo. I'm just gonna paste the logo in there as a reference. Generate a model for a business card um, for this um, hotel. And it's done a mock-up. If I was a bit more specific, it'd probably be better in the background. The Mariner Hotel Oceanfront. So it generated a new name. It used the icon perfectly. I'm not sure about the shadows behind that that card, but obviously it's separated from the this stack. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you literally can do it for anything. Let's and then you can also what you can do is do like a an empty mock-up. So I'll say let's a empty billboard mock-up. I should be nighttime on a well-known city road. Yeah, beautiful. This looks like, looks like it's in Sydney. Cool, empty mock-up. Now what you can do is just right-click, save image as, download it, drop it into Photoshop, and then put your design on there. Use a smart smart object or mask. Do one for a B packaging. Packaging right there, bam. And I could, I could edit it and say, hey, take off the text. So let's go, let, okay, boom. It should have kept the, the paper, but it just kept the bottles. But it did understand, like, it took out the text and icons, and it's just got the beige color. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's try and do some icons. Got a prompt here. Create a set of five flat vector icons for a fitness app. I'm going to run this. I'm going to also try to do a... I'm just going to use as an example. Cool. It's able to do some icons. That's great. Obviously, I'd have to, like, <laughs> bring it and vectorize it and, uh, image like, maybe image trace it in Illustrator. Like this. I'll copy this. Paste this. Generate me five, six icons for a burger brand in this style. Use um, yellow and red, orange colors. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. So this one had a very, like, harsh shadow. It's got a glass, got, like, two layers on it, outline. Um, cool. I think, yeah, it looked like it was able to do it. I think this one has an indent, like, it's inlined. Whereas this one is more to the edge, but still the style, I think, is still there. Pretty good for the first try. Okay, it added shadows, it added a yellow background, um, it did it add more extrusion. It, 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 okay, so it beefed up that outline, so you can see that more bubbly glass ballooning effect. It looks really good on that chef hat, though, with the white. Um, I think that's pretty lit. I think that's cool. Now, let's see if we can make a pattern. Now, generate a burger pattern. Doesn't really look seamless um, on paper, but it would, not, it would be nice if the paper was a bit, I don't know, I can see a little bit of texture in there, but that's fine. Let's let's go with this. I tried generating other patterns. If you, do, you need to specify the word seamless or else it won't really work. It will just do some weird stuff. Or if you try and use a logo and say make a logo pattern, it might not work. So this, because it's very geometric and line art looks pretty, pretty decent. Some of the shapes look a bit wonky, but I think it's fine. Make me three variations of this using Geomet styles. Change. So it did blue and orange, pink and purple. Oh, that one looks really good. This one looks nice. That's a nice pattern. Clean. Looks seamless. Okay. Nothing too trippy in there. Colors are alright, but the shapes, nah, not a fan. This one looks more textured. Looks like a more like a refraction effect. Is it can change facial expression. So so I just uploaded an image of me, um, as you can see here, and I just said make me laughing, which is cool. And then you can do his things like you can say add a red baseball cap, change shirt to polo shirt. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> the, the lighting isn't like the shading and lighting is like perfect um, Red hat park and it did in eight seconds pretty pretty lit <laughs> in Photoshop. It will take hours to do this stuff um, Yeah, let, let's say let's do this. Let's bring this in and say place my shirt with this shirt And let's just chuck the rock in here. So let's go back. Uh, let's see. Okay. I was able to do it and then I can let you can post people with people and say add <laughs> I don't know why it cut me off there though. Cool <laughs> The lighting's messed up though. You can see the lighting on the rock and me is messed up. Like this elephant. I can say, this elephant rode full of apples. Bam, let's see what it's done. It popped that elephant. It looks exactly the same. So if you look at the image, oh, I'm not gonna click on it. Shadows wise looks really good. Apple trees looks really cool. Road. It's really well done. Now let's, what you can say is like change the angle. So we can go here and say, change the angle to a close up shot. 
All right, we got a close up here. Adjusted the elephant's pose. It's it's moving facing forward now. I think that looks really cool. So it's maintained the exact details. It just blurred the background, which is good because the close up is usually a portrait shot. So that's really nice. The lighting looks the same. The elephant details looks like great. Let's see. Okay, move the camera to the left. Change the elephant's position. Okay, it's uh, made the elephant eat. <laughs> I think that's mad. All right, let's see if we can do an infographic. We're gonna do a science based one of like dinosaurs. Just got a prompt here. Training for graphic for kids uh, about dinosaurs, bright colors, bold labels, playful cartoon illustrations, show through dinosaurs, T-Rex, Triceratops and Brachiosaurus with their name, size, comparisons to humans, a fun fact, make, make it simple, engaging, children eight to 10. Dinosaur adventures, Triceratops, Brachiosaurus and a T-Rex. Pretty cool, that's nice. This is a different infographic uh, for a pitch deck. Topic is global. Coffee consumption trends, use muted earthy tones, brown, calm, green, modern typography, include a world map. Keep it clean, professional for business use. Bam, 10 seconds. Global consumption, boom, look what we got. Key insights, industry reports. So obviously that text, we probably have to change it, add a link to it. Yearly growth, make it more feminine. Okay, let's see. Nice, change the colors. Did it change the fonts? No, fonts look the same to me. Make the font a serif font. Nah, it's it's struggling with text with fonts. That's a bit of a problem. Drop this in. I say, okay, now create a ad for this watch. Target is young males, adventurous. Okay, boom. That's pretty lit. All right, it was able to. Put the watch exactly, but it added some funky circle white line. I don't know why that. Unbreakable spirit, adventure on your wrist, horizon. That logo looks cool. This image looks very, like, obviously it's not re <laughs> real people. Replace the text with this. Replace the headline heading with this. Heading and body text and add, let's see, same exact image. Tom doesn't wait, your adventure begins now. And then it's got the text. It's got a bit of a type of the with the isn't. I think it's struggling, but it can swap text out pretty well. <laughs> oh, cool. He's that. <laughs> His mate's trapped in the Rick and Swamp. <laughs> Colors are good. I don't like. Why is it putting? It's putting this in the light box. I like. Don't like that. It should just be like full screen image like that. I can. I think it's great. So far, I'm impressed. Uh, with what it can do. I think it's great for designers, photographers, quick designs, quick mock-ups, um, getting ideas very quickly. But you, you have to do a few iterations and then bring into Photoshop and Illustrator and polish it. But it's pretty good, especially for like the photo editing stuff, manipulation stuff. I think it's really, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know in the thoughts below. Like, do you think it's actually useful? Like, are you gonna be using it? Try it out, it is free. If you wanna watch another video where I explore an AI tool that helps create designs, check this video here.